when you have a bunch of friends together and you want to you know, do something fun, you know, mixing alcohol and sharp objects together is one way to go. Axe throwing may sound dangerous, but Jared Bolden here at Civil Axe Throwing in Birmingham says so far no one has lost a finger or spilled blood, but many have learned the art of axe throwing. We find that people who usually have never done sports tend to be a lot better at it. A lot of guys who bring their girlfriends or their wives uh, will get frustrated because their wives or girlfriends tend to be a lot better at throwing. So women may have a little advantage in this bar sport, but everyone seems to enjoy it. No one starts off as an expert, but with some practice, they get better. It's all about form. A lot of people really want to try to throw hard, but if they get the right form down and they make sure not to flick their wrists and to adjust properly, the thing with axe throwing that we've learned is it's a lot about the rotation, so we'll try to adjust them off of that, and once they hit that spot, they're good to go from there. To prove anyone can do this, I'm going to give it a try. They say it's not so much about power, but more about aim and distance. Once you master just getting the axe to stick into the wood, you can start competing. We got games like tic-tac-toe, uh, where they can you know hit different parts of the target and mark off on the board. Uh, we also have a game of horse, you know, kind of like how you would in basketball. You'd spell out the letters as you go. Uh, you can even do a game of Yahtzee, where you hit all three of the circles and the two green dots, and you get Yahtzee for hitting every part of the target. Uh, and then you can also do a game of high score, and that's just whoever has the highest amount of points at the end of a certain time. The targets can get pretty chewed up, so the staff spends a lot of time changing them out. One time we had a group of high school baseball players come in here for an hour, and we had to replace every target, but that's all part of it. What we usually tend to see a lot, our middle boards usually get replaced faster, so that means that people are hitting bullseyes a lot, so that means we're doing something right. In Birmingham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13 Chronicle.